Hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel. And uh, today's topic is osteomyelitis, which is more commonly known as uh, uh, bone infection. You know. Well, osteomyelitis uh, is an infection of the bone, and uh, it can occur in any age, to any gender. You know. And uh, the treatment of the osteomyelitis can include uh, antibiotics or uh, splinting or surgery. You know. And uh, the delay in diagnosis or the treatment of the osteomyelitis can lead to the permanent uh, deficits. You know. Now, the osteomyelitis is the infection in a bone. So, it can occur in infants, in children, in adults, in old age peoples, you know. And the different types of the bacteria uh, affect the different age groups. And uh, uh, there are several different ways to develop uh, the bone infection of, uh, you know, of the osteomyelitis. And uh, the first is for the bacteria to travel through the bloodstream and spread to the bone you know causing the infection and the most often uh, it occurs when the patient has an infection elsewhere in the body such as uh, like pneumonia or uh, abscess tooth or the urinary tract infections you know or any open wound um, uh, over a bone can lead to the osteomyelitis as well and uh, this happens most commonly with underlying peripheral vascular uh, disease or the peripheral uh, neuropathy or the diabetes, you know. And now, with an open uh, fracture, uh, the bone that uh, punctures uh, through the skin it is exposed to the bacteria, you know, and this is increases the risk of osteomyelitis. And the You know, the acute osteomyelitis develops rapidly over a period of uh, 7 to 10 days and the symptoms may include like fever, or irritability, or fatigue, you know, and the tenderness or the swelling around the uh, affected bone or the uh, loss or range of the motion, you know. And uh, osteomyelitis in the vertebra makes it, uh, it's uh, known through the back pain, especially at the night, you know. And uh, the symptoms of the osteomyelitis can vary greatly, you know, and in children osteomyelitis can often uh, occurs more quickly and they develop pain and tenderness over the affected bone, you know. And in adults, the symptoms may include like irritability and pain and chills, redness and fever, stiffness, and nausea, you know. And uh, in the people with the diabetes, uh, with the peripheral neuropathy or peripheral uh, vascular disease, there may be no pain or fever, you know. And the symptoms may be an area of the skin breakdown that is uh, worsening or not healing. You know. Now, the chronic osteomyelitis is uh, in serious uh, in onset, you know, and uh, it means it's slow, you know, and can be a result of a previous infection of the osteomyelitis, you know, and the symptoms of the chronic osteomyelitis are uh, maybe fever or pain or redness and discharge. Uh, at the site of the infection, you know. And your doctor will perform the physical examination and do some laboratory tests, and, uh, which may be further uh, followed by the imaging tests, you know, and just to diagnose. And uh, once diagnosed, then uh, the treatment may include the medications and uh, sometimes surgery may be needed. You know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Goodbye.